We're getting fries. Is it following me? Not right now. Hold on. Let me do it. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing a new camera that I have finally got myself. This is going to be my second vlog camera. I am very excited about this one because the one that I usually use and bring to vacations and stuff are very, very extremely heavy. It's not even like really that heavy, but when you like add everything to it and you hold it for a long time, it's pretty heavy. So I'm super excited that I got this one because it's going to be so much easier when I travel. Today I am going to be basically unboxing my DJI Pocket 3. Oh my gosh, I have waited so long for this because I was waiting for all my gift cards to come in the mail. So I didn't end up paying too much for this out of pocket. Anyways, I haven't even finished saying the intro and I'm already starting to open it. So let's just go and get started. This is so exciting. Okay. Wow, okay, nice. We're gonna start with this. So basically this is what's in the box. I'm guessing this is all the accessories and this is where the camera and mic is. This is so cute, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at that. This is so nice, okay. Oh, so basically what comes in the box is obviously the camera itself. It also comes with a wide angle lens, which is kind of important if you want to get a lot of the background. This is a protective cover. So on the protective case, this actually here says wide angle lens. And then this one over here says black pro mist. I don't think we have the black pro mist, but this is where the wide angle lens can go. And it's magnetic, so it just sticks right there. There are two different handles. This one is the regular handle and this one is a battery handle which charges your camera to give you extra filming time. There's a plug that goes basically just into the charger thing and it clicks if you can hear it. These are locks basically. And right now it says actually 55% charging. 55 and then there's 56 so it actually shows you right here. Not sure if you can see. But anyways, to release there's a button right here. You click it and you release. Same goes for this one. There's a lock and there's a button for release. This one's not a handle, but it's a tripod. You can also use it as a handle or like to extend basically. We also have the DJI Mic 2. It also comes with a little windscreen that just pops in like that, which is better than the other one because it won't just fall off. And then of course, a little magnet for you to clip on your clothes if you want it to be like lower or farther. For example, just clip it all the way here. You know, it's so cute. The rest of the stuff, basically charger, it's type C, and then there's also wrist strap. And don't forget the carrying case that it all came in. I do want to tell you a little bit of information about this camera. So basically, for those who don't know, this is actually like a mini handheld gimbal style camera, which means it's able to stabilize if you're like moving around, running. It has a rotating screen. It's like a two inch rotating screen. So that way you can film long form and short form and you can do it all in one. It also uses Active Track 6.0, which means it's able to track moving objects or a moving person. That's gonna be like very, very helpful, especially if I'm like running or if I'm walking and it, you know, so then the screen isn't really bouncy and I don't kind of go out frame. And about the battery life, if you fully charge it, it's going to give you 116 minutes of 4K at 60 frames per second or 166 minutes of 1080p at 24 frames per second. You can also charge up to 80% in 16 minutes and 100% in 32 minutes. I believe this one, I'm not 100% sure, but I think this one holds about 80% battery for this, which will give you up to about two hours of filming, assuming you're using 1080 though. Another thing that you have to know if you want to get this camera is that this one requires micro SD cards, which I had to get off of Amazon and these are only like $30 each, so it's not that bad. It also comes with an adapter so you can actually use it if you have like multiple cameras, one micro and one non-micro, you can actually use it for both. All right, let's just kind of test out everything. All right, so it turns on when you put it basically like that. And by default, if you want to do vertical shoot, you go like that and you just have to click continue. Otherwise it will turn off itself. So this one, there's an app you have to get to connect to, which I apparently haven't done yet. See, so when you start setting it up, it's gonna give you this QR code. 
it's going to prompt you to download the DJI Mimo, this app. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so once I downloaded the app, it automatically just finds the device itself. So you just click connect. And then there's a number and you make sure that both are correct. And then there's also objects for low light, slow-mo, photo, panoramic, live stream, blah, 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 blah. You can do all of that here. There's also time-lapse and hyper-lapse. Look, you can see yourself now. If you click this black button three times, the gimbal will turn around. Click it twice, it will recenter. This is the record button and it's not gonna allow me to record right now because I didn't stick an SD card in there. This is the wide lens. It's also just magnetic and it just kind of clips right on. Basically, if you want to turn this off, this is all you gotta do. It'll turn off itself and it'll reposition everything. This is where the slot for the SD card is and I just put one in right now so I can test out. So this is how it looks like inside. This is 1080p. We're getting fries. We're in a moving car right now. So this is how it looks like in a car. Oh really? I didn't know we're in a moving car. <laughs> <laughs> Allie likes to make jokes. Hi. Starts tracking you. <laughs> it tracks so well. Ooh, even a close-up of my face looks nice. <laughs> so this is outdoors, basically. Hi. Oh, hi. What's up? Is it following me? Not right now. Hold on, let me do it. Okay. Now it's following you. I'm trying to hide. I'm trying to hide. <laughs> it almost goes 360. Too bad it doesn't. Let, let me twist it. No, I think it goes near 180. No, it goes over 180. Oh, okay, one direction. Not the other direction. This is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting a small camera, I really think this Pocket 3 is gonna be a really good choice because it's small, it's compact, it allows vertical and horizontal filming, which is honestly the things that you want nowadays because it's like everybody films, you know, long forms and shorts. So this is a really good camera. You can do all of it at once. It also just comes with a bunch of amazing accessories. So yeah, that is everything. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, and or subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!